As we're studying, my good man, Scotty, God bless you. User 5798, it's a privilege, a privilege. It's a privilege to talk to you beautiful people, guys. Absolute privilege. So there you have it. And dig it Celtic or Rangers, says Phoebe. Phoebe, I would go and see them both play. They're both excellent teams. And uh, then just make a decision. Think. I think I'll go for the Rangers or I'll think I'll go for the Celtic, you know. What I would like to see is big changes in the way Celtic Rangers supporters approach each other. And I would like to build in a love between them. And I think what we need to do is get rid of separate ends. So the Rangers and Celtic people, you've got a, a, a red, blue and white, a green and white, a red, blue and white, a green and white. Everybody around, you know, just having a bit of banter and loving being with each other. Very, very, very clear singing of God Save the King at the start. The, the Celtic boys belting it out as well as the Rangers boys. And then I think old Lang sign at the end and we all join hands. You know, and maybe a bit of hugging and hey, my, my Celtic brother, my Rangers brother, my, my fellow bear. Hey, a big hoop. You know, that sort of stuff. And just change the dynamic 100%. Because there's no reason for any animosity ever. And there's certainly no need for any rivalry. Well, there's no need for any rivalry. And there's certainly no need for any animosity between Rangers and Celtic supporters. So a lot of hugs. I think also the club should take the flags off them at the gate. So if you turn up with even a union flag or a tricolor, take it off them. Say you can't go in with that, son. Sorry. And maybe issue a small blue flag or a small green flag for waving. Yay! Go! You know, and do it that way. Numpty, my dad loved the dominoes. I chatted as well. I don't think you chatted, David. I think you chapped. Although you are a very good chat merchant. You have lost your marbles if you think that'll happen. Not at all, Peter. It'll happen if McClue says it'll happen. There's every chance it'll happen. There's no losing of marbles or anything like that. One, two, three, four says, I don't think that will ever happen. No, I think it probably could. We just need to educate people. And I think all schools should sing God Save the King in the morning. And maybe even at three or four o'clock in the afternoon, you know, 